I just paid using only my palm at the grocery store without credit cards and cash. Let me show you how it works. You need to sign up an Amazon One kiosk. You insert your credit cards and the machine scans both of your palms. Then you enter your mobile number and agrees with terms of use. You're all set. I didn't believe that it worked that simple and decided to check it straight away. I just got something to drink and went to the cashier. And this is the moment. I just paid using my palm. Can you believe? What do you think about this technology? Shalom. First and foremost, all praise, glory, and honor be unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha HaKodash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of the great millstone who taught us this truth. Salutations to the hopefully elect out there pushing this word in truth, sincerity, and indeed. Your brother Kapat is out from the Great Millstone, Chicago branch, coming at you with another quick, Lord willing, edifying lesson, all right? And this is just a message to all those camps out there that are denying or saying that the MOTB is anything other than a digital implant. They're prophesying lies. The Lord has not sent them. They are the completely blinded from the truth or they took bribes and they've been paid off, man. Period, point blank. Because this right here is as clear as it gets. All right? This right here is called predictive programming. You get people used to doing something a certain way to where they just accept it. Gradualism. You introduce these new ideas, new technology, little bit by little bit until you come across, you know, until you get to the point where you reach your end game. And that end game is the digital implant, the MOTB, all right, C hip. That is the end game of these devils. And that is what is prophesied in the book of Revelation, chapter 13, which I'm going to get. Because, you know, not just myself, a myriad of a host of brothers all right, of the great millstone and those that teach like doctrine. We've all been saying this and we're going to keep saying this. All right. Some people feel like this is a broken record. No, we're going to continue to break the record. We're going to continue to beat the horse, man. So that people can know the truth so that there's no denying. There's no controversy. There's no confusion. All right. Okay, ways. All right, yeah, I'm a world star, Salakia. All right, this is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 14, verse 14. Then Yahweh said to me, the prophets prophesy lies in my name. I sent them not, neither have I commanded them, neither spake unto them. They prophesy unto you a false vision and divination and a thing of naught and the deceit of their heart. See, so when these guys out here, these other camps, it, like I said, anybody saying that the MOTB, the Mark of the Beast, is not the digital implant that is coming, that is here already, they're lying to you, okay? They've either been paid and bribed or the Lord is not dealing with them. Their eyes are blinded from the truth. This is the truth that the man of grace don't great millstone from the elder apostles and the elder bishops on down are telling you what this is and what is to come. This is going to be the new system. All right. We're telling you what to resist and to establish yourselves in the faith of Yahweh Bashim Shai because he's all we're going to have to rely on, man. All right. Verse 15. Therefore, thus saith Yahweh concerning the prophets that prophesy my name and I sent them not. Yet they say sword and famine shall not be in this land. So like it, by sword and famine shall those prophets be consumed. Right. Because what what's going to come with this sword and famine? All right. These elites, they're going to control who eats. They're going to create scarcity and then. They're going to control who eats what. And the only way to function in the society that they're getting ready to build is by having this digital implant. OK, so that right there is a created engineered famine. 
And what's, what's also going to come with this? Sword, destruction, okay? Revolt against government. Like I said, <laughs> when there's scenarios of scarcity, people are going to bug out. Destruction won't be far. Matter of fact, destruction and, and scarcity go hand in hand. Okay? Like I said, there's going to be a lot of uh, rebellion against the government. There's going to be a lot of insurrection among nations. The whole earth, man, is going to go up. And this devil, he's going to come with his solution, which is this shit. And the world is going to be in such shambles. People are going to be lined up begging to take it. Marvel not if they fuck around and, and, and put <laughs> some reparations, some form of reparations on them chips too, man. Marvel not. Man, let them let them say it's reparations on this digital implant. Man, these niggas gonna be lined up for miles. All right? To their own destruction. And that's just what it is. So I'm gonna end it with Revelation 13. Cause this is just it's just plain at this point. Like I don't understand. The Lord have really blinded you if you cannot see. That this is what it is. This is where it, where it's where it's going. This is the book of Revelation thirteen sixteen, and he causeth, all right. He causeth all. Let's get that word causeth. Okay. Causeth, poyo. Poyeo, right? To make, to be the authors of the cause. Right. To constitute or appoint one anything, to appoint or ordain, to put for to make one do something. <laughs> See that? Cause one to to be the authors of a thing. Okay? To perform. This is what they mean when they're gonna cause everybody. They're gonna they're gonna make everyone. That's not of the elect. Okay, he's going to make all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads and that no man might buy or sell. So what does that have to do with sin? What does she just do here? All right, she's buying with her right hand. Hello? I mean, it's that fucking simple. It's not deep. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. That's just what it is, man. Plain. But, hey, as it is written, the ways of the Lord are plain to the righteous, so are they stumbling blocks unto the wicked. With that, hope this is edifying. All praise, glory, and honor be unto you. How about Shai, Shalom, and the Baba Ball.